So the first impression of this is we do not see any vSmart, no van edge is registered so far, no v bond, no v manage, uh, one v manage of course. And that is going to be this, but later we should add more v managers and we should put them in a cluster. But for our course, we manage one, one v manage is going to be okay. Now, the first thing I need to go to administration settings. There are some settings that I need to take care of. You can see that although I configured some stuff, but they are not going to reflect in this GUI. So we need to change them. So click on edits. The organization name is alex.org. And I'm going to type in this here. I'm going to save it. Vivant IP address is going to be 1111. This is the IP address, not the system IP. Take, be careful. And here the port number is the default port number. I'm going to click on save. Then there is something down here. You can see that, uh, hardware advantage certificate authorization. Let me see if I want to change it. We can go with unbox certificate or we can go with enterprise certificate so signed with enterprise. Um, certificate we do not have a hardware as a matter of fact we are using virtualized environment controller certificate authorization says cisco this means a ztp zero touch provision i'm not using ztp ztp is going to be super awesome but for that you need to have physical wan edge devices and you need to enter the serial number of those in a file and then upload it to cisco website i'm going to click on edit and say this is enterprise root certificate. So I'm going to use this for this and click on process. And the certificate should be pasted here. Once again, we had the certificate before in here. I still have it. I can copy this and paste it here or I can upload the file. Click on select the file and then upload the file. Both of them are going to do the same thing. So I'm going to click on import and save. And the next thing is going to be the Manage Cloud Certificate Authorization. I'm going to click on this, Manage Cloud Certificate Authorization. I'm going to say automated. This means that vManage is going to sign the certificates for WAN edges. That is very important, like I said, but you can go and paste the certificate as we did on these devices on every WAN edge. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to let vManage do that for me. So I'm using automated. So I need to cancel this out. And let me see if there is anything else that I need to check. Enterprise feature certificate authorization. Uh, nothing important here. ZTP. I'm not enforcing that. And the rest of the configuration. That's going to be okay. There is nothing important in here. These are the most important pieces of configuration we needed to do here. The controller certificate authorization, the Vanish cloud certificate authorization, uh, the vBond IP address and the organization name. And also we pasted the certificate, the CA certificate in here. Okay, let's go to configuration devices. We will have multiple things here. First of all, we can upload Vantage list, but I have not created this yet. So I'm going to create it and later upload it here. This is because we are under Vantage list. I'm going to click on controllers. The only controller that I have right now is vManage. I have not installed the certificate for this. I have installed the CA certificate only. So the other thing that I have is I'm going to add more controllers here. I'm going to add a vBond. The vBond IP address is going to be 1111. And the username is admin. The password, we changed it to Cisco123. I have typed it here. And you see there is a generate CSR. You can have this check or you can remove this check. Doesn't really matter. We can create the CSR later. I'm going to keep it up. You keep it there. That's okay. So if you have not removed the tunnel interface, then vBond would not be added here. But you remember that I said no tunnel interface when configuring vBond. Here it is. No tunnel interface when it was configuring. Later I'm going to bring the tunnel up because the configuration should finish after that. Going back to here, I need to add, maybe I have more vBonds. I can click on that. Maybe I have 
uh, V smart. I'm going to click on this. V smart is going to be one 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 two. The username admin, the password Cisco one two three. The protocol DTLS. I'm not going to change the default. And generate CSR is there, so I'm going to click on add, and that's going to be here. Now the next step is going to create the certificates. I still have my server up and running so let's go to here to topology you can see that the server is still up and running and this is the page uh the ip address and after that slash cert srv which i am in there so i'm going to go to cert srv okay here i'm going to request the certificate but before that i need to go to here and for vmanage i'm going to go to uh, the first thing that I have here, not here, of course, let's go to certificates. Configuration, certificates. Here I go to controllers. I see the three certificates here. Cert uh, three controllers here. Let's go to vManage first. It says no certificate installed. Click on here and, uh, if there is a CSR, I can just see, view, view the CSR. If there is none, it says that no CSR is here. I'm going to create a CSR. So click on generate CSR. It's going to create this for you. You can copy this. Click copy. Just by selecting control A, it's going to be copied. Go back to here. I'm going to request a certificate. Click on this. Uh, the certificate type can be advanced certificate request. Then I'm going to paste that here. Then I'm going to click on submit. Now, I need to go back to this certificate server. Let's open the certificate server. And here is my panel. Like I said, the certification authority panel is open. If it is not open, you can go to server manager, which is, let me see where the server manager is here. And then you can click on tools and click on certificate authority. So certificate authority is open. I click on pending request. There is a request here. I'm going to approve it. So I will all tasks and I'm going to say issue. Now that I have done this, I go back to my web page. Then I'm going to go back, go back, go back. Here I'm going to say view the status of pending certificate requests. Click on here. Now you can see that the certificate that is issued is here. Click on this. I'm going to select base 64 download certificate. It's, uh, it's downloaded. I'm going to open it. And this is for vManage. You don't need to change the name because, uh, this is going to be automatically recognized, but I just want to change it to vManage dash one but like i said this is going to be automatically understood you don't need to do anything about that well, let's go to here close this i'm going to do the same thing for here we have already generated the csr but i can click on generate csr again but view csr is going to be okay Control a Control c go to here i'm going to go back back request the certificate advance paste it here submit go to your windows machine refresh here there should be a pending certificate here i'm going to right click go to issue okay now if you just go to issue certificate you can see two of them now go back to web page back 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 view the status of pending certificates this is the one click on that base 64 download certificate and open it and rename it this one was be smart dash one and finally i'm going to go to here and go to vbond view csr or generate csr whichever necessary copy go back to here back back request a certificate advanced paste it submit go to your windows machine 
go to pending requests, issue the certificate. So I'm going to issue that, go back to here, back, 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 view the status, this is the new certificate. Base64, download certificate. Rename it to vbond. And again, this is not necessary. vbond-1. Okay, now that I have done this, I don't have anything to do with the certificate server. I can turn it off, but I'm going to wait for a few seconds, and after that, go to here. I'm going to go to up here. You see install certificate button on top. Again, you are under configuration, certificate in the menu. Here, install certificate. And I'm going to select a file. And that would be here. Under... Where is it? D... I'm going to select all files. Okay. Now, select one of them. Doesn't matter which one. We manage. Install. If you understand that this is for we manage. In previous versions, you needed to click on the we manage and then uh, select the correct certificate. But in this version, you don't really need to. It says it understands that this device step is we manage. So it's in progress. And if I refresh this, it says this is successfully done. Very nice. Let's go to configuration certificates one more time. Controllers. So you see here now it says that the VBond is updated. Everything is done. Let's go to the other one. You don't need to click on here. You don't need to any do anything. Just install certificate. Select all files. The certificate for vSmart. Install it. And that's going to be installed. In the meantime, I'm going to go to configuration, certificate, controllers up there, click on install certificate, and select vbond. Once again, vbond. Install. Okay, this is going to be done in a few seconds. So I need to wait for that to happen. In progress success so if i go to configuration certificates i can go to controllers and see that all of them are having their uh, certificates installed but still you do not see some information about other devices that is because we have tunnel interface uh, not working right now so what i'm going to do is to go back to vbond and then enable the tunnel interface so i come to here and I go to configuration mode. I'm going to go to VPN 0. The interface is GE0 slash 0. And I'm going to say tunnel interface. And then under that, I can have encapsulation IPsec. Encapsulation IPsec. So that's it. I'm going to commit and then go back to here under certificates. I'm going to go to devices right now. Go to controllers. And we still don't have these things. And I'm going to go to vSmart configuration. VPN 0. What was the interface here? For vSmart, each one. For vManage, each one. So I'm going to say interface each one. Tunnel interface. That's it. No need to encapsulation here because, as a matter of fact, we don't have any encapsulation under this. And I'm going to say commit. The same thing on vManage. So on vManage, I'm going to go to configuration mode, VPN 0, interface each one, tunnel interface. No encapsulation under this. You can see that there is no encapsulation. So I'm going to say commit. And also under vBond, I just forgot to do something. Color. You can see that there is a color that we can configure. And I'm going to go with Biz Internet. And 
you can see these colors do not really mean anything this is going to be the type of connection that we have the type of uh, medium that we are using okay with this if i go back to here now you can see that now all the devices are getting known and after some time the information is going to be refreshed and yes you see that now all of them are in sync this means that a uh, v-bond is understanding every device and if other managers ask for vSmart to receive the policies uh, vBond is going to introduce vSmart IP address to them and they are going to be able to download everything from vSmart also you can see that vManage is there uh, there is no template assigned we are going to do this in later videos so this is the process of onboarding the uh, main devices here for now and this is time to shut down windows because i do not really need this uh, from now on the rest of the devices are going to receive the certificate from vmanage as we did the configuration so i'm going to continue in the next video